Hi everyone, we are starting with Math Lit, Paper 2, November 2021. Let's jump into the instructions. Okay, so as always, um, go read your instructions, make sure that you have your annexures. I have mine next to me here. Um, start each new question on a new page, right, because you have different markers for different questions. Show all your calculations, indicate units, very important, you can lose marks if you don't do that. And then obviously maps and diagrams are not drawn to scale. Okay, and then round off all final answers. So don't round off while you're working, round off at the end. Okay, let's jump into the first question. So first question, question one. Daddy below, eh? below, below, below lay, bought Pringles <laughs> chips in a cylindrical container on promotion at a shop. Apologies for that pronunciation. The promotion advertisement is shown below together with a diagram of the Pringles container with dimensions. Okay, so promotion advertisement. So basically, um, you have these six Pringles, 400 Rand, deal, love Pringles, right? And each of the Pringles weigh 110 grams. And then this is basically showing you the dimensions over here. Okay, so then it says use the information above to answer the questions that follow. So 1.1.1, says determine in grams the total mass of the Pringles promotion brought for 100 Rand. Okay, so basically it's saying if one of them is 110, how much is six of them? Okay, so remember here I said always label well, right? So 1.1.1. So one of the Pringles, um, sort of, I don't know what you call that, rolls, <laughs> containers, um, is 110. So you times it by six. Um, you can do that in your head, right? You should be able to do that in your head. But if you can't, there's your calculator. So it's 660 and make sure you put in the grams, okay? You have to put in your units of measurement, otherwise you can't be penalized. 1.1.2, write down the radius of a single Pringles container. So 1.1.2. So they've told us what the diameter is. So remember that your radius, right, fits twice into your diameter. So your radius is basically going to be half of your diameter because two radius gives you one diameter. So you're going to say 64 divided ooh, by two. Let me just make sure you can see. Divided by two equals 32. And make sure that you put in your measurement there it's millimeters, right? Sometimes what students do is they mix up all their measurements. Be make, like, make sure that you are sort of sticking with the one that you're working with. 1.1.3, choose the letter of the answer that will make the following statement true. The unit to calculate the inner volume, right? So volume we know is three dimensions. You should know that by now, right? Of a Pringles container, is it millimeters to the three, millimeters to the two, or actually having numbers. Now, we know that this one is wrong because it didn't ask for the actual value. It asked for the unit, right? So the unit, it has to be A because it's volume, three dimensions, and that's what the little uh, exponent indicates, right? To the power of two would be area, okay? So we're going to say 1.1.3, and we're going to say A. Let's move on to the next question. Determine the total number of days this promotion is available. Okay, so the promotion is available from the 11th of Jan, 2021, to 31 March, 2021. Okay, so let's make sure that we label our question correctly. So remember, I've taught you this trick before, right? Um, when it comes to months, use your knuckles, right? Start on sort of the top of a knuckle. So it's January, February, March. So in January, there's 31 days. Okay, so I'm going to say Jan, there's 31 Feb, generally speaking, there's 28. Um, this is not a leap year, 2021, and you could be saying, oh, Margie, how do you know that? Well, if you want to see if a year's a leap year, divided by four, right? Let me show you on the calculator. So divided by four, and if you get a decimal like over there, then it's not a leap year, right? If you don't get a decimal, so basically like if I put in 2020, right, the year before this paper was set, you would have seen that that was a leap year, right? A leap year basically means that February has an extra day. So here, February doesn't have an extra day and February has 28 days. Then March, we're back on top of the knuckle, right? So it's 31 days. So pop that in, okay? But we must note the question, right? It says it's only available from the 11th of Jan. So from the 1st of Jan till the 10th of Jan, not available. So we have to subtract off 10 there for the 10 days in Jan when it wasn't available. And then we're gonna add those, right? So we're going to say 31 minus 10 plus 28 plus 31, okay? 
something that equals 80. But if you can't do that in your head, do not stress. That's why we have calculators. Um, and it is 80. And make sure you say days, right? Because we're talking about time. It can't just be 80 anything. Right. Let's keep moving. Calculate the price of two 110 gram principal, principal Pringles containers. My pronunciation today is rubbish. Um, in this promotion, right? So six of them, right, are 100 rand. So how many are we going to? How are we going to work this out? We're going to say, well, you can do two ways, right? You can divide this by six to get what the price of one is. So you can say 100 divided by six, and the price of one is going to be this. Right, and I'm not going to round it off. I'm not going to put the units in either because I'm not done, right? So then I have to take this and I have to times it by two, right? Because it said 210 containers, 110 gram containers. So I'm going to times that by two, and my answer is going to be 33.33, right? Please remember with currency, you have to round off to two decimal places. When we round off to two decimal places, you look at the third decimal which in this case is below five, right? And we know four below, right? Or five, below five, you round down. Five and above, you round up. So three is below five. So we round down and that is our answer there. Okay, that's us done for, the, um, for this video. Let's move on to the next question.